Always wanted to use the satin effect inside of Photoshop, but never knew exactly where to start. Well, if that's the case, then you're in luck since in this video I'm going to walk you through the entire process and show you how easy it is to do so. I'm Andrew and you're watching an Envato Toss Plus tutorial. So what does the satin layer style effect actually do? Well, according to Adobe, it applies an interior shading that creates a satin finish. We can apply the effect on anything from a photo to a basic shape or even a text segment, the process itself being really simple as you will get to see in the following moments. For example purposes, let's say that we have a basic shape to which we want to add a satin effect to. We are going to start by heading over to the layers panel and then selecting the layer containing our shape. Once the layer is selected, we're going to head over to the panel's bottom section and click on the FX button, which will open up a list of all the available layer styles that we can use. Here we'll want to click on Satin, which will immediately bring up the layer style window. We can achieve the same result by double clicking on the layer itself and then checking the effect from within the styles left sided panel or by heading over to Layer, Layer Style, Satin. Once the layer style window is visible, we can easily access all its different settings, the first one being blend mode, which allows us to control how the effect blends with our shape in terms of color. Before we continue, I wanted to point out that most of the settings won't be visible until we change the default linear curve to one of the predefined contour ones. That being said, I recommend using linear burn in combination with a darker color to darken the resulting effect or a linear dodge with a lighter value to lighten it. Moving on down we have opacity which allows us to adjust the transparency of the effect using either the horizontal slider or the percentage input box. We then have angle which as the name suggests allows us to control the angle at which our satin effect is offset from the original shape. Next there's distance which lets us adjust the offset distance of the effect in relation to our shape. Finally we have size which allows us to control the blur amount of the satin. Depending on the curve profile a larger value will increase the blur while in some cases a smaller one will give us a more realistic result. If we want to, we can always save the current effect settings by using the make default button or we can fully reset them using the reset or default one. Once we are done adjusting all the different settings, we can hit OK and the layers panel will update itself by displaying a little FX icon next to the corresponding layer. If needed, we can easily adjust the effect at any time by simply double clicking on it and then fine tuning it accordingly. And that's pretty much all you have to do. As always, I hope you found this video useful and I'll see you in the next one.